Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. I hope you're ready for, wait for it, wait for it, a magic review. Because <laughs> that's what I do, right? That's right. I, I mean, you don't come here for anything else, right? I hope, I hope you don't come here for uh, anything else. This is, this is where I review stuff. This is a review channel. I review magic tricks, I review playing cards, and I give those things away. I give those things away every single month because I'm a giver. I give back, right? I give back. Today, I'm going to look at another trick from Magic Dream Paris. Magic Dream Paris was so gracious to me this month. They sent me a huge box of stuff, and I've been having a ton of fun going through all of it. This is Pinned Card Reborn. Pinned Card Reborn. Uh, it's the second release. Uh, they had a pin card trick uh, a while back. Basically, what this is, is it's a giant black safety pin. I say giant, but it's like, you know, that big. And uh, you can pin it to anything. Now in the, in the video, they pin it on to a, like a tie. But you don't have to have it on a tie. It could be on your jacket uh, lapel. It could be on a breast coat pocket. Uh, you could pin it to something else. Okay, you could pin it to anything else. Uh, you have a card, you have it selected, have it signed, no force. No force it is their, their card. The card goes back into the deck, lost. And then with just brushing the cards against the pin, their signed card is now pinned with a hole through it, the bar through it, on your tie. You can then tear it off. They can see that there's nothing on the pin. They can keep the card. It's totally examinable. This is a great way to finish uh, a card trick. All right, so for $27 to Magic Dream Paris, what do you get with pinned card Reborn. Uh, it's all in a little tiny plastic bag. You're going to get a card, basically. And inside the card, there are three pins, three safety pins. Two of them are gimmicked. You don't need them both. You only need one, but they give you an extra one for the price, which is nice. And then you get uh, a, an examinable pin. You get a, a real one. And you get the download code. A download code is approximately 28 minutes. Is it what I thought? I didn't really know what to think, right? There's probably a lot of ways you could do a trick like this. So I was open to any solution and maybe hoping that they would have something maybe I'd never seen before. Uh, is it well made? Yes, it is well made. They are well made. It looks exactly like what it is. Um, what's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, Magic Dream Paris kind of makes a lot of their videos the same. They usually begin with uh, two people sitting at a table with a Magic Dream Paris backdrop behind them and they uh, talk through the trick and you get a couple different camera shots. And if you don't already know, Magic Dream Paris, uh, they offer tutorials in multiple languages. And so typically they have one in English and French. So like I said, the video is only 28 minutes long. Uh, there's gonna be an intro, they'll talk about what's in the box. They go over the basic principle, right? Because there's really only one basic principle. There's just only one way how this works. They'll do a studio performance with a tie. Then they talk about how to set this all up right? Because you have to do a little bit of setup in advance. Then they're going to give you a full walkthrough, full tutorial uh, with explanations. They'll even use clear cards. They'll use transparent cards so that you can see exactly what's happening. They'll talk about some options for ditching because there's an element to this that leaves you a tad bit dirty, but ditch up, the ditch is really easy. Cleanup is really easy. Then they give you a bonus, okay? They give you a bonus of how you could do this other places. So they'll walk you through some ideas doing this with a dinner napkin or maybe with a stuffed animal or maybe on your jeans belt loop. Pocket space, obviously you need the pin and if you're going to wear it on your clothes then you already have it on your clothes. And it could easily just be on your tie with your jacket over it pinned nobody would ever see. Uh, or you could just have it just right there, you know, just have a safety pin right there uh, on your pocket. Maybe nobody would ever even notice or just it looks like, you know, something you normally wear, like, hey, you have a safety pin on you. But yeah, or like I said, you could put it on your belt loop on your jeans pocket and somebody probably would never even notice. And then you have to actually have the pin uh, gimmick somewhere else. And it's a three dimensional object. You wouldn't keep it ready to go um, all the time. You'd have to ring it in. Okay. So either you're going to start with this trick 
or you have to ring the gimmick in. You have to prep that part in advance. So that's why they talk about setup and why you would want to ditch this at the end. Angles wise, you could flash. There's, an, there's one element of flashing that you could do just because a pin is a three dimensional object that's big. It's not flat like playing cards. So there's an element to that, but it's, it should be pretty easy to hide. Um, as far as inspectability at the end, like I said, you're a, t you're a tinge bit dirty, but you're gonna hand the card to the spectator, okay? So they get that, and as soon as they get that, they're gonna take it and they're gonna look at it. They're gonna see the holes, they're gonna see their signature, and just in that one brief moment, you could do your ditch and you'd be totally clean. You'd have a pin that's examinable on your tie and you'd have uh, a deck of cards that was examinable. By the time they look up, they're not gonna find the thing. What are the slights and difficulty level to this? Um, I think really you need to be able to force a card, okay? Because it is a card force, all right? So they have to force a card and control the card. So if you can do those two things, this will be very, very easy for you. Other than that, um, there's a palm as far as the ditching goes, but it's a very easy palm. It's a very easy palm. It's not, it's not gonna be hard to palm this at all. You wouldn't even need to hide it very much. I mean, it's, a, it's an easy palm. Um, so I don't think it's too difficult, but that isn't to say you shouldn't practice. You should always practice your tricks. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Uh, it's a quick reset, okay? So backstage to prep your next uh, performance, not, not, not hard at all. You will use a new card every time, right? Because your old card just got torn and signed. So it doesn't have to be the same card every time. And it creates a very unique souvenir that people I'm sure will talk about. Is it worth your money? It's 27 bucks, $27, it's under $30, right? And you get a metal safety pin gimmick that enables you to put sign card pinned to clothing. That's a pretty good deal. So watch some other reviews and see if this is right for you. And that's everything I can say about Pinned Card Reborn, Magic Dream Paris. And uh, I hope I've shed some light on a trick perhaps you were thinking about or maybe answered some questions that you had. And if that's the case, you can always do me a favor and hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. That helps me out a ton, it does, and I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, and big huge thanks to Magic Dream Paris for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time, bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a row of graphics that look like t-shirts and you can click any one of those and that'll take you to my Teespring store. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time, bye.